So this morning what we saw is a retrospective analysis of GOG 218, evaluating five different biomarkers. Uh, Dr. Beer and his colleagues evaluated MET, CD31, tumor-associated uh, tumor VEGF-A, as well as VEGF-R2, and neuropilin-1. So what he reported is that women who had that highest level of CD31 expression had the most benefit with bevacizumab, approximately nine month difference compared to those women who were treated with the drug but had lower expression of CD31. So this is very important because what it hints at is that one day we may be able to identify the women most likely to benefit from bevacizumab and avoid toxicity and cost in those women who won't. And of course, this study needs to be validated further, but it represents a step forward in providing value-based care for our patients. There's one other trial I wanted to mention, and that's the Penelope trial. They evaluated the addition of pertuzumab in women who had ovarian cancer. And while the results weren't statistically significant, what they demonstrated to us is that they could perform this type of study in an enriched patient population. So feasibility, it can be done, and we should do it.